If you're looking to input live crypto data into Microsoft Excel, then this is the perfect video for you. Open coinmarketcap.com. I'm sure you're familiar with it if you're on this video. So what you want to do is select the coin that you're interested in getting into your Excel spreadsheet. So for me personally, today I want to get this coin called ULX Ultron. You copy this address, so the main browser address, and you create a new Word document you paste it in, press the enter key three times. Now you press file, save as. So you can save it as whatever you want. I always save it as, you know, the coin name and live price. You want to save it as a plain text. So .txt and save that to your desktop. It's going to come up with this on your screen. Just press OK. Okay, so you can now cross off this Word document. So come over to where your live price text is on your doc, on your desktop. So you want to right click it. So you want to go over to get info. Okay, so once this is up, you would like to now edit this last bit and you want to make it IQY. Okay, so you want to get rid of the TXT and make it IQY. So you press enter after that. This is going to come up, just press use.iqi, X that off. Okay, so now just leave that to the side. Click onto, I like doing it in cell C3, give some space. So go over to the top toolbar, press data. Once you've clicked on data, we want to go to get external data, run web query, and click on the file that you've just created. So you press get data. Okay, so as you can see, we now have the data on your spreadsheet. However, if you try and use it, it doesn't work. So we need to now fix this to make it usable. So how we do that is we go equals. This is a very basic formula. Right, select the cell. So for this case, we were just gonna do the price because I think that's the most you know popular and usable um, piece of information. You want to count how many from the right to the left do you want? So I want the two, one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you have to count the decimal. So it's going to be seven because you don't want that dollar sign, but you want everything else. So you press enter. Okay. So once you've done that, we then go equals, sorry, equals, put the form in formula value. Click on the cell that you just created. And now if we want to use this, it works, okay? So that is how you go from live prices online and put them in your spreadsheet. So what you want to do to refresh it and, up and keep it up to date is go to this data section, press refresh all, and you need to keep that live price IQI file so it can be used by your excel spreadsheet to update the data so i really hope you enjoyed this video i'm going to be producing lots more content in the next few weeks and hopefully indefinitely to do with finances mentality personal growth and all that sort of good stuff so if that sounds like something you want to hear and see then please consider subscribing it will really help i do plan to grow this channel as fast as possible and i'll be doing that by creating great content things that i believe will be very beneficial to other people so yeah, a like would be hugely appreciated um, as well as a subscription. Thanks, guys.